Would you ever start a relationship with someone that you met on Facebook? Um, definitely not. I think it's creepy. No. I would at least respond to him, yeah. Start talking to him. I mean, I mean, I don't know. You never say never, I guess, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, I would. Really, I don't see that it's any really that different from meeting someone in person. Online dating. It's a more common thing than you'd think, especially on college campuses like OU. And of course, the number one site for online hookups is Facebook, something college students are very familiar with. Its early roots as a hot or not site were depicted on the social network. Are you okay? We're ranking girls. You mean other students? Yeah. According to a study from Stanford University, meeting someone online has become the second most common way to connect with a partner, second only to being introduced by a friend. And that's where eFlirt expert Lori Davis comes in to educate the public about the new age of dating. So why do you think our generation is more drawn to meeting people online than in real life? Um, so because our social lives are happening online, of course, part of our social life is dating, so it's going to follow the same trend. Meeting someone online is especially easy because it's all at our fingertips. With apps on our smartphones, we could stay constantly connected. Mobile dating is exploding right now. <laughs> um, it is, but you know, if you think about it, like, so are apps. We're just so connected. For those who are still creeped out by shows like Catfish, Lori has advice for that too. I mean, I think that people were afraid of going online even before the show or the, or the movie Catfish existed. Um, but the truth is that you just need to be more aware. It doesn't mean that, like, the person you talk to is going to be, you know, a girl when you thought they were a guy. Right. <laughs> um, that's not the norm of what happened. There are far more examples of successful online relationships than of people being catfished. OU student Ryan Boyce is a prime example. Ryan was messaged by a girl that he had no mutual friends with his freshman year. I was like, who is this girl? Like, I have no idea who she is, and uh, we talked a little bit and pretty immediately met up for the first time uh, outside of Kate Center, and um, I don't know, then things just kind of slowly progressed until we were in a three-year-long relationship. They have since broken up, but Ryan met another girl on Facebook. This time, he pursued her. You sound like you prefer meeting people through Facebook. No, I just don't. I'm not biased. I don't... Uh, I don't separate the two. I don't see as one being easier than the other. I don't hold myself back from meeting people that way because of some preconceived notion that it's wrong or weird or creepy or anything like that. As Ryan spoke, a song about love played in the background of the coffee shop, echoing the cry of our generation. All we need is love, whether we find it online or off.